Get ready for another host at home, Adams Archives. We know that this is an ordinary walking cane, but what does it become in the hands of Wayne Brady and Corey Rouse? Put your hands together for a funny comedian, Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> I like to do my impersonation of Gary Coleman. What you talking about, Winners? Uh, just a second, miss. I'm gonna need to see your ticket. No ticket, mister. and we call our show Quick Wits because we have four quick-witted professionals who are competing to make you laugh. Let's meet the teams. Hey, ladies. Yeah. And oh, oh. team, I love it. Yes. What's your guys' team name today? We are the Home Wreckers. Oh. <laughs> All right, wait, Corey. What's your team name? We, we are, are the, the Comedy, comedy Pimps. pimps. <laughs> <laughs> to both teams. Right now, our audience judges are voting for the performances they've just seen. <laughs> Your scores will appear on the screen like this, Quickwits, but you won't know what they are until the end of the show. And that's when the winning team will receive a very special prize. Now, because our comedy professionals want to do the best job possible, we just want you to know something. The Quickwits have had time to prepare their challenges in advance. <laughs> They're singing waiters and singing telegrams, but quick wits, let's hear from another singing professional. Home records, let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> Say, you don't have any creams or salves for these fine lines or crow's feet, do ya? Funny you should ask. <laughs> you wanna look younger so much, younger than your friend. How do you know that? Surgery is not, not the means to your end. Then you talk about whatever they pull your skin too tight to smile becomes a chore. You don't want to risk looking like Mary Tyler Moore. Cal, you need some seaweed. Cal, the fountain of youth is green. Cal, maybe from your sushi. Cal. Mr. Johnson, put down the gun. Talk to me. <laughs> put down your gun or you won't get your cash. If I don't, I'll shoot that guy in the ass. <laughs> We're gonna stop you. Who, the LAPD? <laughs> your demands, give them to me. A helicopter and a million point three. Oh, oh. It's a bank heist. Oh, well, 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 well. Huh. Tell me more, tell me more. I want a new car. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. You won't get very far. Uh-huh, 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 uh-
Do you have to prepare anything or anything like that? No, nothing. Cool. See, it's not about what you say or how funny you are, it's about what you wear. Of course. <laughs> so, oh, you know, I hear we're playing uh, Wayne and Corey. Couple of guys. Better be the case. I think, I think I'm going to shave, though. Yeah, I'm going to shave. Never know. Hey, wait a second. I think we're playing Wayne Brady. Yeah. Oh, man. I need a whole different outfit. <laughs> Welcome back. Time for the Quick Wits Photo Challenge. We're here with Erin from the Home Records. What's going on? Just relax and let her push. How can I relax when any one of us could be the father? <laughs> From the company Tim. And when the eighth dwarf sleazy comes to town, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> Movie stars claim that acting is hard work, but quick wits, pick a star or a pair of stars and give them some really hard jobs. Home wreckers, get back. Hey. Okay. All right, this is um, Meryl Streep's first day at The Gap, and she's being trained, of course, by Charo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Meryl, first thing you do, you greet the customer. A customer, you come in, you say, hello, welcome to The Gap. Hello, welcome to The Gap. Okay, good, but no more answer. Okay, hello. Welcome to the cab. Good. The deep, dark, cavernous no. cab that is my no, 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 no. no. Okay. I show you how to fall. We fall. You take a shot. You make a fall. 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 Kuchi 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 fall. 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 Kuchi 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 fall. 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 Kuchi kuchi fall. Oh, my eyes crooked. I tried and I tried. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Now you have a customer. I be the customer. Okay, my name is Leslie Sophie. You help me. You like this one. You like this one. Oh, that one. No, 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 no. That one. No, 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 no. I can't do that. No. This is not your decision. This is Sophie's choice. Oh. How many pins? What actor are you guys going to put to work? We're going to show you the cast from the full Monty as paramedics. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing. She's going into a full cardiac arrest. That means we have to hit the, the full Monty. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, ladies. It's Dr. Lola. And a bandage. Woo! Are you ready? How are you doing? She's well done. It's cold. <laughs> Rumor has it that Danny Thomas wanted to play Don Corleone in The Godfather. Show us the screen test of a star who tackled a role that was way out of his league. Comedy pin, what do you got? Uh, we're going to show you the screen test for Men in Black involving Bill Cosby and Don Knotts. <laughs> You scum sucking aliens, these hands are a lethal weapons. You know, cannot talk to the aliens like that. See? Well, then what are we gonna do? You don't got to shoot the aliens with the gun. Right. Ah. <laughs> you got another bullet? You. What's that sound? You, that's my gun. Camille says my gun goes you. All right, let's try this now. Ready? Don't look at it, it makes you forget. <clears throat> oh. Jack? Chrissy? <laughs> Father. I don't have a daughter. She's not mine. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Let's do it. Home Records, what star is in over his head? Let's go, mm. lady. I like the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it. I'm ill. I don't think I have it much longer on this here. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Melly. <laughs> God, I swear to God, you know, you're not gonna die. Besides, these are new sheets I just bought for you. And let me tell you, if you're gonna be bedridden, do it in style. <laughs> 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 Knock it off, 
enough with that coughing. Jesus. Mm. Father promised me to take care of Ashley after I'm gone. Well, you know, he is some piece of ass. <laughs> I have, haven't I? Oh, there you go. Bob, damn it. I can't believe you died on those sheets. As God is my witness, I will never buy retail again. We're going to take a quickie commercial break, but first, a quick with home movies. There's a set of lyrics that the songwriter got rid of. So Quick Wits, sing us a well-known song with its original rejected lyrics. The comedy pimps, what are you going to sing? We're going to do the original lyrics from Music of the Night from Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Jiggling, straining, your pants barely containing Boing. your legs. That you've been parading When you change position You show off your religion <laughs> Any fool can see That it's not right For God's sake, sir Your pants are too damn tight <laughs> What's that? Size three? Oh, ma'am, I just don't think so Not enough Room in your shorts for a small child's big toe. When you turn your back, you make a good bike rack. <laughs> Any fool can see that I'm right. Cling, cling. <laughs> for God's sake, ma'am, your pants are too damn tight. Are oh, you deaf? It appears you won't listen to me. You change a G string into a G H I J K L M N O P. <laughs> Who are not too bright? The comedy pimps say your pants are too damn tight. <laughs> The weatherman's name was Fred I was eating my dinner When I heard the forecast for the week I was minding my business When I heard El Nino calling me That's my windbreaker Don't take it I need it cause it looks like it may rain That's my windbreaker Don't take it I need it cause it looks like it may rain That's my windbreaker at night we dream about the day we had so quick wits pick a celebrity personality and show us his or her worst nightmare home wreckers scare me mm -hmm. school It was a beautiful morning, like any other for Miss Heather Locklear, as she awoke with a big yawn and a stretch. And then she headed for the mirror to take a look at herself as usual. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me. No, look at me. <laughs> then it was off the scale to weigh herself, as she did every morning, afternoon, and evening, and sometimes twice in the evening, you know, once before purging and once afterwards. <laughs> you have gained one pound. No! 
There's only one true way to find out for sure. Off to the closet, she pulled out her pie size zero jeans, slipping them. No, no, she even tried the old laying down, pulling up the zipper. No, no, to no avail. All right, the only true test. She pulled out the size four khakis. If this fits, if this fits, we know. No, it's a perfect fit. No, no, she headed back for the bathroom. Patty, Patty, two by four, can't fit through the bathroom door. No, 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 no. Oh God, must call studio. I, it's Heather. I can't come in. I've gained a pound. A pound? You're fired, you fat of a gun. No, no, no. Why me? Why me? Wait. Just then, she caught a glimpse of herself in the mirror. I'm not fat. I'm five months pregnant. <laughs> We're going to show you Marv Albert's worst nightmare. <sighs> do, 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 do. Mr. Albert, Victoria's Secret is closed. No! No! Judges are voting. That sound means it's time for the AT&T Reach Out Round. Now, quick wits, this is the last chance for you guys to really build up your scores. Now, in this round, each team will put a new and original soundtrack on a piece of vintage video. Let's take a look at the team's video clip. Amid the mightiest pageantry of our generation, Britain crowns the second Elizabeth to be England's queen. 30,000 schoolchildren, their places reserved by order of the queen, are among the crowd of millions here to hail Elizabeth and Philip as they approach Westminster Abbey. Inside the Abbey, the Queen's entrance is watched by her son, destined someday to become king. All righty, comedy pimps, let's hear your new and original soundtrack. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight, Croatia style. Tonight, American drag queen and film star RuPaul opens up brand new TV show. We go to Cam in the Sky, Gregor on the Rope. Give me that! Serbian cam. I'm an idiot. And now to the ground camera. Uh, everybody here, happy, happy cloud reaction. I stopped by for all two. Hi. Much like the electrical light parade. Happy, happy. As you can see, throngs and throngs of people gather to see RuPaul go into Croatia's only TV station. We now start show. Our first guest will be Joe Pesci. Hey, you talking to me? Let's hear it. Oh, that man. This is going to be the best buck convention ever. Don't get so excited, Catwoman. They're I all here to see me. Don't you to call me Eartha. Now, where's the bat cam? There we go. We've steeped up security this year. Thank you. I've got a perfect shot. Really, me this Batman. <laughs> Damn these cap sneezes. Anyone have a hanky? A Kleenex, maybe, something. Oh, over here. I've got one. Take my cap. Over here. Take this one. <laughs> Damn it, why couldn't we have taken the Batmobile? It's in the shop, old shop. What are you looking at? So we've aged. Who hasn't? Holy Convention Center. Oh, this is bigger than that auto the show we did at Anaheim. Oh, look, everybody's here. Oh, Rizzo, the Joker. Oh, boy, wonder. Robin, Robin, Batman. over here. Hey, Batman, up here. Check out my bitches. <laughs> Scores are still a mystery, so if you want to know them, I guess you're just going to have to stick around till after the commercial break. <laughs> so that, the final scores have been tallied, and I do have the winner. Today's Quick Wits winner is... The Comedy Pimp! Cool. Alrighty, home records, what did you bring for the winning team? Well, <laughs> we brought them throw pillows. Yeah, because you've been bad and you need a spanking. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very interesting. 
same gift, but in my mind and in the audience's mind, you're all winners. I want to thank Aaron Ehrlich. Online is the internet. Email. Instant messages. AOL now offers more benefits than ever before. If I can do it, anyone can. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one.